Business Stat Chapter 4 Pre-Class Assignment Tutorial Question 2 Use the contingency table below to find the following probabilities. On the contingency table, we're going to add up the column total for B, which is 50, and B prime is 60. And we're going to also add up the row total, which for A is 50, and the A prime is 60. And the total event for the whole contingency table is 110. For part A, we're asked to find the probability of A condition on B. And now we're only looking at column B only. In column B, A only occurred 10 times, and there are 50 B events. So the probability of A condition on B is 10 divided by 50, which equals to 0 0.2. For part B, the probability of A condition on B prime is what we're looking for. So now we're only looking at column B prime, and we have 40 divided by 60 as the probability of A condition on B prime, which equals to 0 0.67. For part C, we're asked to calculate the probability of A prime condition on B prime. So again, we're looking at column B prime, which is the total of 60, and under column B prime, a prime occur 20 times, so we have 20 over 60 as the probability of A prime condition on B prime, which is 0 0.33. Part D are event A and B independents. So the rule here is that they're independent if probability A and B equals to probability of A times probability of B. The probability of A and B is 10 over 110 while the probability of A only is 50 over 110, and the probability of B here is also 50 over 110, and when we calculate both sides, they are not the same, so therefore A and B are not independent.